I'd like to show you an example of how we can address the thoracolumbar fascia and work right up the mid-back. This is a really powerful technique. A lot of patients are wondering how they can address certain areas or they feel like it's not releasing the way it should. This is a key component of getting those areas to actually release properly. Mickey, why don't you go into child's pose? So if the patient is able to do this, this is just a great position to work from. Take the arm across it over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my forearm and I'm going to be going out, so I'm going to go actually into pronation. So from supination to pronation, and I'm going to grab the arm here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be stretching in both directions. How are you doing there, Mickey? Good. Good. And you'll notice Mickey's low back here that she has some cupping this week, so this bruise is due to the cupping. Cupping is a great procedure, very effective. Just so you know that we weren't uh, being too rough on Mickey here. <laughs> Okay, take it out. You okay? Yep. Yeah. And just take your time and get feel the area release, and you can pull the arm up even a little bit farther. How's that feel right there? That's good. And back. Now work your way all the way up here. I feel okay? Yeah. The key to getting an effective treatment of this is to give the patient time to actually unwind and relax. Let the muscles become more malleable underneath your forearm. You may work in a particular area, you may do three, four passes. You may spend a, a couple minutes actually working this area. And once you feel a good release, you don't have to stop there. You can actually move right up farther in the thoracic. Just take the arm over a little bit more. How are we doing? That's good. Feel that quite a bit? Yep. Taking it right up. Hold it. And release. Now, as you see, as I'm pushing down my shoulder and out, I'm also pushing up. Grabbing the arm. No problem. That's good. And up. And again, one more time. Take it right up. Good. And of course, you would repeat the same, but on the other side, and starting out with the arm crossing over. This is an incredibly effective way to open up the thoracolumbar fascia. And sometimes with certain techniques you'll find this area doesn't release that well. Combine this with thoracic and lumbar joint mobilization and you'll start to achieve some pretty amazing results.